So we've already had two major updates to Windows 10, keeping with Microsoft's promise that Windows 10 would be the last version of Windows. But that doesn't mean they can't get a little creative about it. They just unveiled Windows 10 S. But wait a minute, what does S mean? A Microsoft executive has said it stands for secure, superior, streamlined, and soul? Well, I guess they decided to channel Vince McMahon when he told us the X in XFL stood for things like exciting, but I wonder if maybe they should have gone the Harry S. Truman route instead and said the S doesn't really stand for anything. Well, marketing misadventures aside, what Windows 10 S actually is, is the Diet Coke of desktop operating systems. A stripped down version of Windows 10 designed for cheaper PCs that might compete with low cost gadgets like Chromebooks, which you can learn more about right up here. But what exactly has been stripped from Windows 10 S? Well, the biggest change you'll notice is a complete inability to install anything that isn't an app from the official Windows Store, making the platform much more like a non-jailbroken iPhone or iPad. And while this seems like just a huge blow to the flexibility of the computer for no reason, that's right, you can't run the useful EXEs you found on that web page somewhere, Microsoft is touting this as a security feature, since trusted apps from the Windows Store are verified by Microsoft to be free from malware and less likely to have bugs that could slow down or crash your system. And this also means you can't run browsers other than Edge on Windows 10 S, which Microsoft again claims is more secure. And we're not going to touch the veracity of that claim, but since you can install non-Chrome browsers on a Chromebook, you might be feeling left a little disappointed if that's what you're used to. To be clear though, we don't think this is just a corporate conspiracy to get people to finally start using Bing. If all you need is a machine to update social media, watch videos, and make Skype calls, computers with Windows 10 S pre-installed will start at less than 200 US dollars. And unlike the complete disaster that was Windows RT, Windows 10 S runs on full fat x86-64 processors, so using the new OS doesn't necessarily mean you'll have to compromise on performance. And while Microsoft hasn't yet confirmed that these devices will be SSD only, they claim they'll start up within 15 seconds. And it seems likely anyway, given that solid state storage is standard for Chromebooks. The generally low price points and the more restricted nature of the operating system means that Microsoft is really marketing Windows 10 S heavily to organizations like schools, who may want to buy laptops or tablets in bulk for students, but don't want them installing God knows what thing they found on 4chan or any gaming platforms like Steam or Origin, neither of which are offered in the Windows Store. So this means that Windows 10 S is a bit of a strange mishmash of philosophies. On the one hand, it's hobbled by the limited number of programs you can install, but on the other, it has advanced features like domain support, remote management, and BitLocker drive encryption, so that IT administrators have more control over devices that are floating around in backpacks or briefcases all over campus. But Microsoft thinks they have the solution. They're trying to solve both sides of the chicken and egg problem by making the devices cheap for bulk purchases and making it easier for developers who haven't ported their applications over to the Windows Store to do so. Good thing too, because limited app support is a huge part of what sunk Windows Phone not too long ago. So is Microsoft onto something here? Do you think that Windows 10 S is a sensible alternative if you just need a machine for a few specific tasks, but still want a respectable amount of power and you don't want to use Chrome OS? Or is it just another futile attempt by Microsoft to beat us over the head with a Windows Store? Now sound off down below in the comments, along with what you think the S should really stand for. Racing against the clock as a freelancer? It's challenging, but with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. So to meet this need, check out FreshBooks Cloud Accounting Software, designed for the way you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and most importantly, to get paid quickly. Create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, and you can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. I mean, who doesn't want their money more quickly, right? And you can also automatically see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing game. There's no more running around calling people saying, hey, did you get the invoice I sent you? FreshBooks takes care of all of that for you automatically. FreshBooks is now offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. All right, guys, thanks for watching TechWiki. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it sucked. Check out our other channels, maybe go look at channel 
super fun. We're always doing super fun things over there. Sometimes we get minorly injured, especially myself. I sustained two tiny injuries that are actually pretty darn funny in the last couple episodes. So if you want to see more of that, um, yeah, go check that out. And don't forget to hit subscribe.